though we have decided some days ago to let it out so this bhrigu goes that you are i have problem nakshatra so every nakshatra is 13 degree 20 minute no this wrong it's actually not 13 degree 20 to be honest the span of every nakshatra you see come on you see in the sky the two things ashwini nakshatra is there this image is there whatever image imagine i image bharni nakshatra is there that is an image kritika is there that is an image the dimension of this images are the same the duration from the first nakshatra to the last nakshatra is same of course not absolutely not right now you divide this nakshatras one nakshatra second nakshatra third nakshatra and make a list of 27 nakshatras ठीक बात after that you start dividing the rashi you say every whatever i find in 30 degree all the stars because rashis have no image there are image of stars only and what you say you take a 30 degree division in sky and whatever star falls under that using those stars and connecting them by hypothetical lines you imagine an image that belongs to a ram bull couple whatever that you take as a symbol of rashi so what is happening with rashi rashi is exactly 30 degree because it is a hypothetical division and the prime point of dividing it is dividing the zodiac into 12 zodiac will be 360 degree because any circle is 360 degrees a simple task it should be divided into 12 because there are 12 seasons as per rigveda itself that's why it is vaidik astrology why not divide it into 8 7 6 or any random number why divide it into 12 only because vedas tell you that sun have 12 horses it goes through 12 seasons it have 12 names 12 sages 12 mantras so it is connected to 12 and that the concept of 12 is taken into astrology that's why it's vaidik astrology got to understand it it is for some reason jo bhi hai so the division of the 12 rashis is based on because the seasons the months are divided into 12 for the sun sun decides the time and the circle is 360 degree at any given point of time circle is 360 degree that's why it is not considered an oval earth is an oval zodiac is not considered oval because the diameter of oval is x that's why it is considered circle though it is not exactly a circle as such because it is infinite you cannot know it is a circle a rectangle a cylinder hexagon you don't know whatever be that the division of rashi is static 30 degree 360 divided by 12 30 so what the sages have done they have started counting from point a to the next 30 degree and whatever nakshatra falls into it <laughs> they did not wait it for the figure of nakshatra to complete they cut it in between so at the junction of ashwini at the junction of aries and taurus the nakshatra kritika gets sliced into two part the first part where the first pada of kritika comes and the remaining part where the second third and fourth pada of kritika comes so this is a complete hypothetical division it have to be divided into 12 only circle is 360 degree by default divided by uh, 12 every rashi is 30 degree now the division of nakshatra is sometime 27 sometime 28 so there is no singular opinion over it though the point is 27 nakshatras are used into predictive astrology 28 are used into muhurta prashna is more of a natal chart stuff but sometime it is a muhurta stuff also so using 27 or 28 nakshatra is once again dubious Vimshottri dasha uses twenty-seven nakshatra. Ashtottri dasha uses twenty-eight nakshatras. Right, so it is a dubious point. Which should be used? What should not be used? Is once again dubious. We speculate that there was a point of time when it was decided by everyone that we will not use Abhijit. Somewhere in the time, leave the point. Now coming to the span of nakshatra, the division of nakshatra. 
is made based on the cluster of stars one major star other surrounding stars and the figure that they are making right so they exactly being 30 degree 20 minutes is not the case sometimes it is more sometimes it is less the exact duration of a nakshatra is variable the exact duration of a nakshatra is variable okay this variable table i will share but there are three things you know what if i tell you that i have moon in cancer in magha nakshatra it is there it is reality it's the truth so the basic point is right like in rashi you have rashi navamsha only for this purpose for example mars in aries the person gets angry but why this why division you do based on navamsha so aries rashi libra navamsha mars this person gets angry when someone says something to their spouse or when there is a problem in marriage this person will get angry Aries Rashi Cancer Navamsha. The person is very sentimental about motherland and mother. Someone say anything bad about their mother or motherland, they become very angry. So whatever Rashi the Mars is into, that tells you the status of your anger. Are you short tempered, not short tempered, forgiving, what? This is what the Rashi tells you. But what triggers your anger, or what pacifies it, that goes into Navamsha. so the basic point is it is all amalgamation aries people can be of multiple types can be of nine types aries 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 taurus aries gemini aries cancer many types they can be based on the rashi navamsha setup so two aries people are not same aries rashi aries navamsha aries rashi taurus navamsha these people are entirely different though basically they are aries but there are thousand reasons of anger and these variations are seen with respect to navamsha the same goes to nakshatras also you have an already span of nakshatra take example uh, ashresha so now based on your current degree setup normal ashresha that's end at the 30 degree of cancer this normal ashresha versus the original astronomical better word is better than original is astronomical the astronomical span of ashresha is different and using this astronomical span there can be two three ashreshas ashresha that is coming into the pushya part original pushya part that is coming into ashresha right ashresha part that remains in ashresha and ashresha part that comes into magha right there are three ashreshas yeah these three ashreshas are there and the people are also different ashlesha pushya ashlesha 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 magha pushya is for nourishment so ashlesha pushya person see ashlesha is what ashlesha holds on to things like a snake holds on to earth if there is any animal on a plate you stand that plate the animal will fall except for a snake so snake have holding capacity when it is ashlesha pushya it holds on to prosperity when it is ashlesha magha it holds on to throne power power hungry person ashlesha pushya it is a fortune hungry person so difference between ashlesha magha and ashlesha pushya is ashlesha pushya will wait 
for the power to be he he the he will wait to be blessed by the power and he is very clinging to it every time he goes to temple he prays for something not power anything blessing basically so she is blessing he prays for power every time whenever you talk to him if someone can gift me this if someone can gift me this it is always on his mind but it is if someone Aslesha Magha, on the other hand, is the self-willed person. He also wants to get blessed, but he is more attached with power and authority. Whereas Aslesha Pushya is more attached with blessings. And Aslesha Magha, like Magha is, is more dependent on hard work. So they find the way that I want to achieve this, which is difficult for them to achieve. Therefore, this is the reason they have to cling to it. there is something ringing in their head 24/7 related to power and authority and they are always anxious to find different ways to achieve it so clinging on to things is indicated by aslesha but clinging to blessings is aslesha pushya clinging to power is aslesha magha and aslesha aslesha pure aslesha is clinging to everything clinging to family members clinging to everything this is what you call chipku person chip you know this this is this is a this is a like hindi slang dialect you know the the one who is very much like always around you over possessive clinging is aslesha and aslesha aslesha is very clingy over attached to everything that that i am telling patience patience sham patience right <clears throat> very much attached over clinged this is how you going to use it and this is very essential and this table for the first time you know still leave the point many things we do are for the first time normal span of nakshatras this is the normal span of nakshatra right ashwini starts at 0 degree aries varni starts at 13 degree 20 minutes aries kritika starts at 20 degree 26 degree 40 minutes aries rohini starts at 10 degree taurus mrigashira 23 degree 20 minute taurus adra 6 degree 40 minutes gemini punarvasu 20 degree gemini pushya 3 degree 20 minutes cancer ashlesha 16 degree 40 minutes cancer ends at magha starting of magha Right and Magha starts at zero degree Leo and set thirteen degree ninety minutes Leo at thirteen degree twenty minutes Leo. Purva Falguni starts twenty six degree forty minutes Leo. Uttara Falguni starts ten degree of Virgo. Hasta starts twenty three degree twenty minutes of Virgo. Chitra starts six degree forty minute of Libra. Swati starts twenty degree of Libra. Vishakha starts three degree twenty minute of Libra. Scorpio starts sixteen degree forty seconds of Jeshta. Scorpio Jeshta starts so on and so on. Table is there. this is the original span okay original one the span for abhijit is also here right so the division is made accordingly so ashwini starts at 0 degree ends at 13 degree 10 minutes 34 seconds of aries 10 minutes earlier so for the last 10 minutes of original ashwani it is ashwani bharni mix it is not a simple ashwini it is ashwini bharni mix right so this 10 minutes where ashwini longevity is connected to bharni death is the point where people either have no longevity or high longevity ashwini ruler bharni is something that never dies this 10 seconds 13 10 34 of aries to 13 20 of aries is the point of bharni ashwini or ashwini bharni whatever is a mixture here bonds a leader who rules till the time he is alive so to mix the signification on this 10 degrees there then kritika nakshatra starts at 19 degree 45 minutes of aries 
Originally, Kritka starts at 26 degree 40 minutes of Aries. So from 19 degree 45 minutes of Aries to 26 degree 40 minutes of Aries, it is a mixture of Kritika burning. It is a mixture of Kritika Bharani where the trait of both the nakshatras are coming. And this person is a hyper person which is having qualities of both. The qualities are extremely intermingled. So many times, you know, you will see the person is Adra but he shows more trait of either Mrigashir or Punarvasu. And you become confused whether it is Adra or Mrigashir or Punarvasu. You will want it to change. Don't use the table. You will see animally multiple times, but whenever you see that there is a confusion or contradiction in astrology, understood that either your knowledge is incomplete or you have gone berserk. There is nothing as such in astrology. Right? The knowledge is complete, just you don't know it. Okay. Rohini starts at second degree, 56 minutes, 27 seconds of Taurus. Mirgashira is 22 degree, 42 minutes and uh, sorry, 42 minutes and 19 seconds of Taurus. Adra, 5 degree, 52 minutes, 54 seconds of Gemini. Punarvasu, 12 degree, 24 minutes, 12 seconds of Gemini. Pushya, 2 degrees, 40 minutes Cancer. Asalesha, 15 degree, 24 minutes Cancer. Magha, 21 degree, 59 minutes Cancer. So 22 degree Cancer, Two thirty degree cancer will be a Asalesha Magamix. And those who are born here can relate to it. If your nakshatra is changing, you will know what I'm talking This is the thing that speaks louder than I can explain. You just have to use it. Purva Falaguni starts at 5 degree 10 minutes Leo, Uttra Falaguni at 18 degree 21 minutes Leo, Hasta at 8 degree 6 minutes Virgo, Chitra at 21 degree 17 minutes Virgo, Swati at 4 degree 28 minutes Libra, Vishakha at 11 degree 3 minutes Libra, Anuradha at 0 degree 49 minutes Scorpio, Jeshta at 13 degree 59 minutes Scorpio, Mula at 20 degree 35 minutes Scorpio. So 20 degree Scorpio to 30 degree Scorpio is a Jeshtha Mula mix. So this is the eldest person, Jeshtha eldest and Mula the one who is connected to the roots also, very karmic. Eldest and the connected to roots also, very karmic. 20 degree to 30 degree Scorpio, highly karmic. Purva Shada starts at 3 degree 45 minutes Sagittarius, Uttara Shada at 16 degree 56 minutes Sagittarius, Abhijit at 6 degree 42 minutes Capricorn, Shravan at 10 degree 56 minutes Capricorn, Dhanishta at 24 degree 7 minutes Capricorn, Sadhbisha at 7 degree 17 minutes Aquarius, Purva Badra at 13 degree 52 minutes Aquarius, Uttara Badra at 27 degree 3 minutes Aquarius and Revati at 16 degree 49 minutes Pisces. What will happen? Amalgamation of two nakshatras will happen. And this amalgamation will result into new personalities. And once again, go. my words are, the two things are there. First of all, I try to put it as concise as possible. Right? As So when I say it works brilliantly, I can take eight, eight, nine hours to explain what is brilliancy and what is not. But I think just using the word brilliant is enough. And anyone who is in the field of learning and science will understand that when a serious person like me uses the word brilliant, there is some gut to it. It works with a 90% accuracy in 4,000 charts. Better than writing it, you say it works brilliantly. This is why adjectives are made. So I'm telling you. This is Rahasya, which I first told in 2017-18. Kept very quiet about it. And finally decided to give it up. Because then people are too much into it. I, I think there's a lot of knowledge that have to be given. And very little is given. And the problem is, very little confuses you. Or gives you an ego that we know a lot of things. Stay away from these things. Use it. One point is there. Calculation of Dasha and Tardasha based on this spend, don't try to do. 
this is uneven so calculation of why the mean what you see every nakshatra is 13 degree 20 minute is mean duration this is true minute duration but why the mean duration took the first place why the minute division was forgotten because mean division gives you simplicity in multiple things such as the sa calculation etc easy to remember remembering this is very difficult so don't try to do that only use that much that i am telling you decoding the personality of the person decoding the result of the planet that's all don't try to change the sa calculation sir but bhadra chakra placement based on this no don't do it can be done but to do that there will be some more tips that you will want so for the time being master this first master the prediction first then you will understand first master adra mirgashira mix pure adra and adra punarvasu mix what is the difference first do this then do the other things right so that's all for today Uh, wonderful yes, sir, sir. Mool. wonderful technique thanks a lot sir yes, sir so i have a question and i want to also say something you had an option to not say it after telling uh, i think uh, should be uh, mr should be pass but uh, thank you so much that you shared it with us sir. thank you and uh, sir uh, what did you mean by karmic like moola is highly karmic Go. how Jeeva do i understand eldest that? eldest is having the responsibility if the mother father dies in the family the younger ones will be dependent on elder see think this way what is elder who have to be in authority and power to take care of youngers in the case the parents die so loaded with a lot of responsibility and moola means roots the problem with moola is if you want something hypothetical you know what many people can make a mistake and still succeed at something moola cannot do that for moola to have things they have to go at the deeper level so karmic why i am saying because this is the eldest person also who have the complete responsibility when mother and father becomes old they expect from the eldest child he have maximum responsibility he have to not feed himself but to his siblings also other than his family to also his ailing parents so lot of responsibility to a person who cannot get things easily until and unless he goes to the lowest level this is not a person who will solve a mistake by just saying sorry this is the person who have to realize the mistake change it and then he will get forgiveness long process so this is a person who have a lot of responsibility and who are not getting things easily also so it becomes very karmic realization have to be very quick And this, yeah, Carolyn. It's the Gandanta zone. Yeah, it is the Gandanta zone. Mm-hmm. And this is the particular reason why Jeshtha Mula Gandanta is taken as the worst Ganda. Why Ashwini and Revati Gandanta? You read description of Ashwini Revati Gandanta. Nothing much bad is told because amalgamation is not happening. Here the amalgamation is very very strong. lot of responsibility and not being able to achieve things quickly how big problem it is you have to do things quickly also with complete responsibility also great chances to falter problem very problem thank you sir we'll meet coming friday thank you thank you sir thank you sir